Hey everybody, Color Farty's back for more Paper Mario. So I totally forgot where we were. I know we beat Shy Guy's toy box last time. Uh, pretty standard, okay. We were probably working on some recipes. I don't remember exactly. That's right, we just have the HP Plus badge left there. We completed all the Koopa Koo favors, so actually we might be all set to go to the next world. Yeah, sure. I feel like I'm forgetting something big, but yeah, I'll go to the next world. Alright. Boom! Star piece! An odd fellow's been hanging around the port lately. All he does is stare out at the horizon and mumble about treasures and the like. Look, he's here again today! Well, 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 look who it is. Hmm, who am I, you say? Why, well, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Hmm, think now, Colorado. How to cross the sea. Well, this is interesting. Ouch! Ouch! What are you doing? Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Ooh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. And I have problems. It seems like something's jumping around in my belly. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, help me. Hmm, I say, old boy, this great tuna seems to be have a bit of a bellyache. Mario, what do you say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Oh, uh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. So it's dark in here. Also, we're going to want to equip something. Uh, power bounce really aren't gonna help us. We want to equip hammer throw. And let's use Watt to light up the stomach. Ugh. Yuck. It's him. Where? Who dat? What do you think you're doing with that light? And this is actually... Yes, we have a mini boss fight against this guy. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it! I'm ornery as all get out! Prepare for some pain! This is also the only enemy you fight in the entire game besides the first fight against Bowser, where you cannot tattle on him. And I guess the first Junior Trooper fight. Because if we switch to Goombario, it will literally just make the lights go out. Alright, let's jump on Fuzzy Peed. That was terrible. Oh, what a jerk. Yep, we want Hammer Fro for this. And you know, we can use this. I forgot about this fight, actually. Fuzzy peed. I don't like how he has to do that animation over and over again. But yeah, in case you were wondering, his name is Fuzzipede. Goodbye, Fuzzipede. Alright, it is time to level up FP again. Ah, uh, Shucks! First I think I get away from that old fishing man. Then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with this mustache goes upside my head. 
I've just been falling out of frying pans into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me. You know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Oh boy. Thankfully. Whoosh! He's got a blowhole. Hey, it's you, boy! You're that dumb old fish that ate me all up and such! You plum idiot! You know, I thought I was a goner for sure! I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time, but you just watch it! Uh, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. Whew! I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, am, I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, the old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be. The island will be wonderful. You must trust my instincts. Mario, um, I think the Star Kid said a star spirit was, um, caught on the big lava lava island. We, um, we should go. Big Whale, give us a ride. Wee! Huh? Lava lava island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then, it's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Heads up, Lava Lava Island is my favorite world in the game, and easily one of my favorite video game worlds ever. Aw, oh, Cooper doesn't say anything? Darn it. You wanna go to Lava Lava Island? You bet! Can't wait! I've been looking forward to this part of the playthrough for a long time. Oh, so sure this is safe, then. Makes the room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. Do you ever think about how strange your life is? I do. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Chapter 5, Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. Do boy, yes! I love this place! Yes! If you want me to take you back to Toe Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this Lava Lava Island, smashing! Delicious! Behold, Mario! There, off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! How many items do we have? Oh, we have a room for a lot! Well, we can get a stopwatch if we go back there, so that's cool. And hitting any tree on this island will give you a coconut. You can throw it to damage one enemy. You also can use it in recipes. A heart plant! These grow only on Waba Waba Island. When you touch one, it gently stretches out its stem to welcome you. If you're lucky, it'll also give you a heart when it uncoils. Nice, huh? There's a species of mean plant that imitates it, though. Is this one good or bad? These are good. Thank you, heart plant. But I am actually full on hearts. Yeah! Help, I say! Help! Oh. I should unequip Hammer Throw now. I didn't have Quake Hammer equipped? Really? Huh. I'm trying to think what's useful here. Well, I mean, the money badges, obviously. Yep, fuzzies are back. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, boy.
These guys are annoying. This is a jungle fuzzy. Jungle fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies, but they live in the jungle, so that's their name. Max HP 7, attack power 2, 2, defense power 0. They claim to you, suck out your HP and add it to their own. What a sleazy move! They won't stop clinging to you until unless you tear them off with the action command. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them before they get the chance. Yeah, so now we've got to mash the A button to get them off. That's why these guys are so annoying. Well, one of the reasons. Oh, two star points apiece. Lovely. Also, if you're wondering, there is actually an enemy in the game that's very good for level grinding. There's like a super, super tough enemy in the next world. But if you can be defeated, it gives you like a ridiculous amount of star points. You can just keep grinding on those enemies. Still fairly slow, but it's a lot faster than grinding on other things. And that's pretty much the only way to get max level in this game. Phew, you saved me! Many thanks, old chum! Well, enough of that! Let's pull ourselves together and press on! What say? Alright, well, we passed some stuff. It's a Bell Bell plant. It grows only on Lava Lava Island and swings like chimes when you touch it. It makes a cool jingling sound. Well, that's all it does. That's so. Also, I need me another coconut. A letter to Igor and Boo's shop. How grand. <sighs> yeah, if we spin on this flower, it'll make it'll propel us upwards. Just hold Z. And welcome to Yoshi's Village. Hi! Hello! Howdy! This is Yoshi's Village! Well, Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader said it's best not to get too close, because it looks like it might erupt any day. A Yoshi! This Yoshi always hangs out around the village entrance. I love this music. The village leader is my friend! I mean, hello! How are you? But anyway, ever since he was a child, the village leader has had a strong sense of res personal responsibility. When I heard he was going to be the village leader, I wasn't surprised at all. This is the village leader. He's like the fat Yoshi. Welcome to you, Mario. I'm the village leader of the Yoshi's Village. Ah, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm, the entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano is awakened as well. I think it might be too dangerous for you to go there. I just like how the closer you get to Yoshi's Village in this area, like, the better the music gets. Statue of a Raven, and more importantly... Star Piece. Also, we can't go in the water. That's because paper and water don't mix. He's the village leader. He's very dignified. Doesn't he look thoughtful and perceptive? It's the, it's the Peter Pan feather. He's a Yoshi who is an old friend of the village leader. They've known each other since they were kids. I hear they're pulled many a prank together. They must be really close pals if they've been friends for so long. Yep. More Yoshis! Hi there, Mario! Have you met the ravens yet? They live at the top of the biggest tree in the village. There are lots of them, but they never come down. They speak a different language from ours, too. Pretty mysterious, huh? Everyone says they're the disciples of the master of this island, Raphael the Raven, but do you really think so? He's a blue Yoshi. He's just hanging out here. Maybe he's a marine Yoshi. You know, because he's blue. Okay, maybe not. Any village with a ton of Yoshis is amazing. This Yoshi is really easy to talk to. I bet everyone likes him. He's so friendly. My Goompa once read me a book that had a Yoshi in it, but I never thought that they really existed. It's so exciting to see him. Well, well, hello! If it isn't Mario, welcome to Lava Lava Island. This island's almost entirely covered by a thick jungle. Still, how can you beat living in this tropical climate? I agree. It is snowing like crazy here, and it's freezing cold outside, and I don't like it. Okay, baby Yoshi's some of the cutest things ever. 
We're in the Fearsome Five! When we arrive, it's live at five! We always stick together, even when we're being bad. Speaking of which, today's the day we plot our secret plan into action! It's so cool! Only we five know the plan, and that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited! I hope we find a tasty fruit in the jungle. Aha. Uh -huh. This seems dangerous. Oh, it's Mario! You're on an adventure or something, right? Wow, cool! Who's that with you? Is that your partner? Man, I wish I could be. That'd be a dream come true. The grown-ups won't let us out of the village because they say it's too dangerous. That meddling old Cheep Cheep is always watching us, and she won't let us enter the jungle. Heh <laughs> we'll see about that. Us guys, the Fearsome Five, we aren't afraid of anything. Not exactly great. Little Green Yoshi, yes. We're the Fearsome Five of Yoshi's Village! Yeah, we play hide-and-seek together. We can't leave the village, though, so it's sort of boring. I want to play somewhere bigger and more exciting. And I want to see the jungle! It's dangerous, you know? Now that'd be exciting! Ka. Ka? Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Oracle of the Stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario's fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Ka 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 Interesting. This Yoshi loves food like nobody's business. I wonder what he'd do if we gave him some food made by taste tea. He'd freak out! How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked to the Cheep Cheep over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name is Sushi. That's terrible. She watches over the kids. What would we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about her, but kids are kids. By the way, an archaeologist named Colorado or something went into the jungle alone. He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. I wonder how far he got. Island Shop. They sell snowman dolls, but they're expensive. Also, really cheap fire flowers here, so that's cool. Yoshi's Cabana. Alright, store my coconuts for starters. Nah, I'll keep the other stuff. Yoshi's Cabana! Thunderbolt could actually the Thunderbolt stinks. My my regular attack it practically deals that much damage. Let's get my lame my kind of lamer stuff out of here. Maple shroom. But we want to keep room in our inventory for this other stuff as well. Because we do find a lot of stuff in this jungle. Oh, welcome! We don't get visitors to this island very often. You should know that the jungle beyond here is dangerous. Our kids are forbidden to go in. Oh, and by the way, I just saw a Koopa guy who calls himself an archaeologist. Oh, if I, I already talked to him. I'm so sorry about that. She looks interesting. Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool Sushi, they'd better think again. I don't really know what voice to give her. She's a cheap cheap. Her name is Sushi. She's sort of meddlesome. At least that's what the Yoshi kids say. According to them, she tries to control their lives. I think she's just trying to take care of them, but she doesn't seem to be succeeding. Ah, poor gal. Ooh. We got a letter for this little Yoshi kid. Oh, it's Mario! Hey, Mario! You will go on for an adventure? If you want, we'll go with you. You don't have to worry at all. The Fearsome Five got your back. Let's go to the jungle. We're not scared. We just can't ever go out because that meddlesome old Cheep Cheep stops us. A Red Yoshi Kid? Ah, you must be the one. Name's Paracarry, and I got a letter for you. Ba boom Thanks! I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal just made up a new game. I've got to play this later. He also wants me to come over to his town and play with him sometime, but how can I get there? Oh well, maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny, because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Paracarry, will you help? Here, deliver my letter to the Toad Kid who asked me to send, uh, asked you to send this one to me. Could you? Thanks! Another letter to Dane T. Alright. Uh, that's plenty of talking, don't you think? 
Toad House, and... YAG! Eek! Help! Help! The entrance to the volcano is very near here. A green jungle, a massive volcano, and red-hot flowing lava. What of you? <laughs> what of you, indeed. It probably wouldn't look so good if the lava were coming towards us. Ow! Get a hold of yourself! Why do you say you attack the enemies instead of me, hmm? <laughs> Had to. Oh boy! We got spear guys! This is a spear guy. Spear guys are relatives of shy guys. They live in the jungle. Max HP 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. You'll get hurt if you attack with the hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them when the spear is pointing upwards. Pay attention to the position of the spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they become ordinary shy guys. So these guys are kind of interesting enemies. Also, the action command for that is weird. Oh, whoops. Looks like we're gonna use what? A. Nope. Take this spear guy. Take that! Watt, you are amazing. What's up? Phew! You saved me once more! You're top-notch, Mario! Now, I feel that our destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? I feel like I'm putting too much of Goompa's voice in there. It's a bull bush. It grows only on Lava Lava Island. If you touch it, it'll give out light for a little bit. It also wiggles a little and will sometimes surprise you. I doubt it would surprise me. Yeah, there's some interesting hidden items in this area. So, for example, behind this tree... No. Yep! Jam and Jelly! Highly nutritious snack. Restores 50 FP. Hold on to that. That's a rare item. Ah, Mario! Have a look at this! Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for! I know it! The secrets of an ancient civilization! And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? But I shall not give up! A good explorer never stops gathering information! Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must! Now come! Good idea. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> Did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must also have a great sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on, hmm? Music's changed a bit. Oh no, crying Yoshis. The kids are gone! The only place they could have gone is... The, the jungle! I had a feeling they were up to something lately. But I thought it was just mischief. I didn't think they'd go into such a dangerous area. What do we do? How will we find them? Yeesh, this is not good. I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problem so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? Oh, such ill fortune! The children are missing! They seem to have secretly slipped off into the jungle. They don't know its dangers! We must get them back here to safety! Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. I'll try to calm them down. We, you must find those kids. Yeesh, those poor Yoshis. It's terrible! It's just terrible! The kids are all gone! We told them a thousand times never to go into the jungle! Sushi went after them. She's a cheap cheap who always takes care of the kids. How could this have happened? There must be a reason. Mario, please, please help. Look for the kids. 
Oh jeez, crying Yoshi's everywhere. And then this guy. Oh Mario, please, find those poor children! The Yoshi kids from the village are like grandchildren to me. Oh, those poor babies. Oh, is that like an old Yoshi? Whoops. It looks like he's sleeping! <laughs> I thought he was genuinely asleep at first. Guys, when you're panic stricken, just to take a time, uh, some time to do a tornado spin. Whoosh! Oh boy, it's Jade Jungle. Be careful when shaking bushes. And yeah, be careful shaking anything, actually. This is a hurt plant. Hurt plants pretend to be heart plants, which gives you a heart when you touch them. Max HP 8, attack power 2, defense power 0. If a hurt plant bites you, you'll be poisoned. Then your HP will slowly fall each turn. We better beat him as quickly as possible. Unless you can frequently restore your HP, you'll find yourself in trouble pretty fast. Well, if you have happy heart... Whew. Uh-oh. Three turns, that is not good. Oh, I am running low on HP. That is a lot. I mean a lot of drool coming out of their mouths. It's probably time to use an item. Fried egg. Gotta clear out my inventory sometime. Goodbye, hurt plants, and I think that's the last we'll be seeing of them. Unless they happen to appear in other battles. Oh yeah, money, baby! Oh yeah, also the simple plant. It's a symbol bush. It grows only on Lava Lava Island, and it has two stiff petals growing side by side. If you disturb it, the petals slam! Wanna try? I dare you. Don't, you'll just lose HP. Also, any bushes that look like that, don't shake. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates! Hey you, down there! Look up here if you can hear me! This is so embarrassing! I'm stuck in this tree! Can you help me out somehow? Come on now! Try harder! Oh, phew! I'm saved! I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Don't they know it's how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you better get back to the village too. It's too dangerous out here. Why on earth did you come into this jungle anyway? Well, so you're looking for those little rascals as well. Then I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite! I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? Mario, huh? Hmm, well I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island. That's what I'd usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? Sushi joined your party. Press down C on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press down C again while riding her, she'll dive deep for a short time. While in battle, she can jump, attack with belly flop, or douse enemies with her squirt ability. Sushi's a very interesting partner. Like, very creative. So we can swim around like so. And you'll notice there's a bubble down there. Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? It's the perfect place for napping. Perfect temperature. I'm a bubble. but my job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? I want you to take the seed. Or rather, that's what I'd want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. 
Don't worry, though. It'll be ready any time now. Waiting in such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seat later. I'm pretty generous, so I'll be here giving stuff to people. How nice. Yeah, you can't get the seed from him until after you beat this world. And there's a star piece over here, and a letter in a tree to Rust T. Excellent. Boom, 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 Very catchy music in this world. And man, you can get filthy rich if you want to abuse money money here. Actually, if memory serves... Nope, never mind. Someone is snoring. There he is, he's in the tree. Hey, dude. Two spear guys, huh? Alright. Let me show off sushi. So let's do belly flop. Sushi's alright. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. They can do that. Star Storm! Now, oh, shooting star! And you're dead. And let me tell you, what is in that block is so worth it. We get the Power Quake Badge! Greatly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. So it's basically a Quake Hammer, except it deals four damage to everybody. It's very good. So, let's unequip Quake Hammer. And... And Jump Charge. It's about time we got Power Quake. Oh boy, upgrade block already. I love how they always give you those, like, right after you get a partner. Boo boo hoo hoo boo hoo! Oh no. That is the sound of a Yoshi crying. Alright, we actually have to... Yep! You do have to move that bush. Oh, that's right. There's four of them. This is an ambush. Ambushes pretend to be the bushes and wait for unwary prey. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. If you get poisoned, your HP will gradually fall. Your situation could become critical unless you restore your HP as soon as possible. Let's clear them out quickly, okay? Use your most powerful attack, why don't you? Well, I think I will use an item. Sleepy sheep. Yeah, sleepy sheep. Cool. Wow, that worked well. I'll show a power quake! Oh yeah. M. Bushes, you are no match for me. M. Bush, take that. Since Kimbario can finish him off, I'll focus. I might want to use Star Storm a few more times. Goodbye, Ambush. Goodbye. Oh, poor guy. Ah, that was so scary! We were playing hide-and-seek, and there was this weird plant, and it trapped me here. Sushi was right. We should have stayed in the village to play hide-and-seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going to go home now. You might want me to escort you, so you don't get trapped again. Nah, he's good. 
Also, this pathway takes us back to this part of the jungle. Safe block here? No. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot about this. No, I'm not wasting my time fighting fuzzies. The right here, she's like, well, I'm happy! <laughs> but yet, yeah. All the other Yoshis are crying. <laughs> the radio she's like, I don't care about the other ones. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. Tune in for the next episode. We will save the rest of the Yoshi kids. Maybe go back to Toad Town to do some side quests. Have a great day and God bless.